Hey, Rufus, hang on. I'm coming. I'm almost there. Hey, boys and girls, how you guys doing? Hey, with us today is Rufus. Oh, let me move this. Say hi to everybody, Rufus. Okay. You're... Why do all the stuffed animals get so close and they want to, like, smell everybody? It's like they're trying to smell you and looking at you. It's so funny how they act. So, are you ready for me to read a story to you? Is this one of your favorite stories? It is. Wow. 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 You're very excited. Okay. Well, let me move you over here. Okay. Yeah. You can watch. This is Rufus goes to the sea and this is by Kim T Griswell and this is Rufus right here and he likes it while you can grab his little tail and he wants me to read a story about one of his fun fun adventures that he had so this book here is a paperback see it bends so the other book we had the other day was hard but this bends but you still have to be careful so it doesn't rip accidentally again Rufus Goes to Sea by Kim T. Griswell. And look, looks like he wants to be a pirate. Let's find out. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this video, hopefully you got all your work done today and watched all your other videos. Because this is a reward video, bonus video, once you get done with all your work on Monday, okay? Okay, I love you. Okay, ooh, this is cute. Here's Rufus. He's up in a tree. I see the pirate ship. I see his backpack. He's looking at a book. His blanket is there. And there's, what is that? A lighthouse. Oh, and another boat way at the bottom there. Cool. Rufus Leroy Williams III loved going to school. He loved reading. He loved writing. He loved playtime and nap time and story time. But one day Rufus found the school door was locked. And on the door it had a sign that said, enjoy your summer vacation. There's no more school. It's summertime. School's over. Did Rufus forget that? See? He's at school with his backpack, his blanket, and it looks like a book, but there's a sign on the door. School's over. It's summertime. And it's going to be summertime for us soon, too, in a couple more weeks. Rufus sat down to read his favorite book. Rufus read about days of adventure. He read about nights under blankets of stars. Rufus knew just what to do for summer vacation. He would become a pirate. There he is, looking at his pictures. Looking at his book and the pictures in his book. He's decided to become a pirate. Oh, wow. Do you want to be a pirate when you grow up? Oh. Rufus packed his lunchbox, put on his backpack, and picked up his blanket. Then he called a taxi. My name is Rufus Leroy Williams III, said Rufus. And I want to be a pirate. Hang on, said the taxi driver. Rufus Leroy Williams III trotted to the ship. He looked up, up, up at the deck. Then he opened his book. He's at... The school here calls him a taxi. Then he goes to the pirate ship. And look, he's looking at his book. He wants to make sure he's getting on a pirate ship. He wants to make sure it's the same thing. I'm going to move you over just a little bit, okay? Okay. Thank you. Permission to come aboard! shouted Rufus. Shiver me whiskers, said the first mate, Scratch Wickers. It's a pig! 
faces peered over the rail. My name is Rufus Leroy Williams III, said Rufus, and I want to be a pirate. Hmm. Arr! No pigs on pirate ships, growled Captain Wibbly Shins. Why not? asked Rufus. He is talking to everybody. He wants to be on the ship, be a pirate. And the captain says, Because pigs play on the poop decks of the captain, they swing from the yard arm. They picnic in the crow's nest, and they wipe their chins with a Jolly Roger flag. Hmm. He doesn't think very highly of a pig. He thinks he's going to play around. I'm going to picnic up there in the crow's nest. Wiping his nose, his face, on the Jolly Roger flag. Wow. Remember what Rufus is going to say. Rufus scurried aboard the scurvy dog. He grabbed a mop and went to work. Pig on the quarter deck, called first mate Scratch Whiskers, and he has a hat. Captain Wibbly Shins clumped down the steps. No pigs on a pirate ship, he said. Why not, said Rufus. Okay, you want to start, he's trying to start the mopping. Then the Captain comes down to tell me he must leave. Because pigs tangle up the rat lines, said the captain. They roll up in the hammocks. Pigs drawl on the treasure maps. And they build castles with a pirate's booty treasure. Hmm. All the silly things he thinks pigs do. He thinks Rufus will all do all those silly things. But I don't think Rufus would do all those silly things. Not me, Rufus held up the mop and pointed to the deck. Or we already have a deck swabbing pirate, said Captain Wibbly Shins. The pirate I've been looking for needs a different skill. And he shooed Rufus off of his ship. Rufus Leroy Williams III really, really, really wanted to be a pirate. And he knew just what he needed. Okay. There's the captain. Sending him away. <gasps> There's Rufus. He went to a pirate store. What has he got? Oh, looks like he's got he's got his hat, and he's got oh, an eye patch. Ooh, he's starting to look more and more like a pirate. Rufus Leroy Williams III knocked on the captain's door. Permission to speak, Captain, said Rufus. The captain sat up in his bunk. No one interrupts the captain's nap, he roared. But you need a pirate, said Rufus. And I have a hat and an eye patch. So here's Rufus at the captain's room. He's knocking on the door. Captain was taking a nap. See his eye patch? Look at his hat. Useful gear, said Captain Wibbly Shins. 
But a pirate I've been looking for needs something else. And he marched Rufus to the plank. Uh-oh. The plank is where they make him jump into the water. Wait! Rufus wobbled back to the deck. He held up his book. I have this! Captain Wibbly Shins wiggled his eyebrows. Can you read it? Yes! Said Rufus. And Rufus showed him his book. Hmm. Now it's getting interesting. Captain Wibbly Shins is interested now. And Rufus, I think it's because he knows how to read. Maybe a lot of the pirates don't know how to read. Why didn't you say so? A reading pirate is just what we need. Hmm. Captain Wibbly Shins handed Rufus a treasure map. Show us what you're made of, piglet. Rufus Leroy Williams III unrolled the map. And he began to read it. Sail into the full moon, turn right at the sunrise, stop when you hit dry land, and dig where X marks the spot. Rufus Leroy Williams III said, so he's reading the map, he's telling him all about it. Welcome to the crew, said Captain Wibbly Shins. Mr. Scratch Whiskers, hoist the sails. We are leaving. Rufus loved being a pirate. He loved rolling seas. He loved salty breezes. And he loved teaching the pirates their ABCs, especially the letter P. P, 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 p for pig. Wow. But he loved finding buried treasure most of all. They're all digging. They're all digging for buried treasure. Because new adventures waited inside the treasure. <gasps> Look what they found. They found more books. And they can have more adventures reading those books. That's exciting. And Rufus dreamed of becoming an astronaut. <gasps> Maybe next summer he'll become an astronaut since he was already a pirate. See, Rufus is using his imagination. He's pretending in his mind and he's thinking and pretending he's a pirate. Very, very good story. I'm looking at this. Very good story. Very good story. I like this story. Very good story. This is Rufus Goes to Sea. And by Kim T. Griswell. Well, Rufus, did you have a fun summertime? Last summer being a pirate? Yeah? Oh, good. I like reading stories sometimes. I read a lot of graphic novels. Uh, I read my Bible. And I read um, other books, too. I have a couple uh, thriller books, they call it. Political thriller books. And I'll read those. And I always love reading because you... It's like having an adventure or a movie or a TV show in your mind. You read the words, and then you think about it in your mind, uh, what you're reading about. And it's really, really cool and neat. That's why we want you to learn to read. So you can read these cool stories. And you can read about Rufus. And you can read about other characters. Um, the Sloth family. 
Now, our last book, Sloth, uh, Slept On, um, other stories that we read. And uh, that's why it's fun to read. Because there's so much neat things and fun things and interesting things to read. So this is a very good story. I love stories about imagination. Oh, look at the back. They're all back there. Reading their books as they're on their boat. And Rufus even helped the pirates learn to read. Remember it said, and he liked teaching them their ABCs, especially the letter P. What does P say? P -p -p -p. For pig. That's right. Good idea. And we know Rufus is a pig. Well, Rufus, you did a good job, buddy. Thank you very much. I think you did an awesome, awesome job. I want to I wanna give you... A high five. Boom. Good job. Well, class, did you guys like this this story? Yeah? Okay. Let Rufus know. Tell him yes. Okay. Well, Rufus, say goodbye to the boys and girls. And you can come back and visit us another time. And you can listen in the classroom at our story time, okay? Okay. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Rufus says he loves you. Okay. Bye, boys and girls. See you later. Rufus, that was an awesome story. I think you did a great job. I want to wait. I can't wait till you do your astronaut story. That would be cool.